Welcome to Fair Trade Campaigns. We are so excited to work with you as you move toward becoming a Fair Trade Congregation. By becoming a Fair Trade Congregation, you are confirming your community's commitment to fair trade, education, and contributing to the growth of this movement. Thank you. This video has been created to give you an overview of what is to come as you work toward declaration. We've asked fair trade congregation campaigners across the country to share their insight and experience in order to make this process easier for you. In this video, we'll break down the goals you need to complete, share best practices and tips from other campaigners, and go over the fair trade campaign's website information. As you've probably already read, in order to become a fair trade congregation, there are three goals to complete. One, incorporate fair trade into the social teachings of your congregation. Two, replace goods purchased by the congregation with fair trade products where and when they are available. Three, incorporate fair trade products into any pre-existing events. Now, let's go into these goals a bit deeper. Incorporate fair trade into the social teachings of the congregation. From drawing parallels to scripture and teachings to demonstrating how fair trade ties into the core values of your faith, the first goal is to educate members of the congregation about how purchasing fair trade empowers them to live out their religious tradition. The minimum number of activities to complete this goal is two, with two per year required thereafter. Replace goods purchased by the congregation with fair trade products where and when they are available. Replace food and beverage items like coffee, tea, sugar, communion wine, and kosher chocolate, as well as artisan and craft products such as teapots, kitchen items, worship vestments, decorative items, and others. The minimum number of fair trade products required to complete this goal is two. We encourage you to replace more products with fair trade options each year. Incorporate fair trade products into any pre-existing events. Look at the calendar of events for your congregation and determine which could naturally include fair trade. To complete this goal, you must have two events that include fair trade products. Alright, last but not least, let's go over the Fair Trade Campaign's website. 
When you registered your campaign, you should have received an email that looks like this with your username and password. After you log into the Fairtrade campaign site, a series of pop-up windows will guide you as you fill in your campaign information. You will fill in your profile information, including your areas of interest or expertise. You will be alerted when other campaigners post about your interests in the Community Grounds Forum. You will be taken to your campaigns page once you input this information where you can customize your campaign title, campaign introduction, and background image. Please fill out the About Your Campaign section of your profile as well. Add links to your campaign's social media accounts. Once you've filled in all of the information and your campaign page is activated by Fairtrade campaign staff, you will be able to log your campaign process. Please add all upcoming campaign events to this page as well so that other campaigners and Fairtrade campaign staff know what your campaign is up to. Please add photos to your photo gallery to show others the spirit of your campaign. There is also a space to share resources you have found useful. Once you are ready to take your campaign public, click Submit for Review. You will receive an email once it has been reviewed and activated. Please utilize the Fairtrade Campaigns website. Take time to show your community members the site, check out the resources for event planning, team building, and more, and post and answer questions on the Community Grounds Forum. Still have questions? Please feel free to send your questions our way. Shoot us an email and we can schedule a call at your convenience. Once again, thank you for your time and commitment to Fair Trade. Please continue to ask questions. This is an exciting step for your community and we are glad to work with you as you become a Fair Trade congregation. Thank you.